Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. So today we're going to be doing what are their current feelings about you? So if you would like to choose a group now, we have group one, group two, group three, and group four. And let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one. Let's see what your person feels towards you. So let's start off with the tarot. We've got the five of pentacles. Chariot, the Empress, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Okay, and then for the Romance Angel deck, we have Wedding, Keep an Open Mind, Release Your Ex, and then oh, we also missed one. <laughs> We've got the Seven of Cups, and then we also have Trust in the Magic, Freedom is Yours, and also Time to Move On. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Ooh, okay. Okay, this person is currently feeling stuck, but they want to come towards you. There's a pattern that hasn't ended yet, or is currently in the ending cycle, and they're basically, you're waiting for them to come and deliver you a message, but they are having trouble making a choice whether they want to come forward, okay? There's lots of different choices here, and they're having trouble figuring it out. But they do want to come towards you. I thought this person could be a Cancerian or an Earth sign. I'm getting Aquarius and Capricorn as well. So they do want a commitment, but they're having trouble releasing their ex. And basically, the spirit is saying that it's time to move on, okay? If you feel like this person isn't really your person, then it could be you wanting to move on. But obviously, if you feel like you've got a really strong connection, but in the back of your mind, if you definitely feel like you need to move on, then this could be for you as well, okay? But I feel like this is more towards them, as it also says release your ex. So I feel like they're in the middle of releasing their ex, or they need to release their ex, because they want to have freedom from a suffocating relationship, and they want to be towards you. They want to go towards you. Um, so they see you as this empress energy. And they see you as someone who's very independent, someone who has their shit together. But because they haven't got their shit together, they're basically suffering. And they're like, I don't really know what to do. And I feel like this is the offering that's going to come towards them. But they're definitely contemplating on if this is the right, if this is the right thing for them to do, basically. They're not sure if this is the right thing they want to do. But because this is a current feelings, I'm not sure what the outcome is. So what's going to be the outcome? For group number one please because i feel like they they have an they they are keeping an open mind they want they do want to come towards you they do want the commitment but they're just not sure right now because they're in such a muddle so we've got the seven of sort seven of wands okay what's the overall outcome please for group number one thank you nine of cups yeah so i definitely feel like they're, they're going to be working a lot on themselves i think once they start working on themselves and they're going to come towards you and there is some sort of like decision making because we have the seven of cups then we have the um nine of cups so it's basically they're just trying to make a really big decision on what they really want to do but they're happy with it they're happy with the situation so possibly they actually could be happy being single i feel like they could break up from their ex kind of have a time apart just with no one there and then they're going to come towards you so i feel like they need that single time for now they kind of are trying to move it's almost like they're trying to move either towards you or away from you because they've got too much hurt they're almost like scared of coming towards you because they're like you're like look look at the offer i have for you but they're like oh i don't know if i want to take it because you know i've had all these all these bad commitments and i have like commitment issues so it's like i have all these bad commitments here and you know what i don't really know if i want another one yet so it could take them a little bit more time so i feel like if they break up from the ex it will take some time for them to actually move towards you because they need to have that break of kind of releasing and clearing okay so that's essentially what's going to go on there's definitely moving on energy um but that's currently their feelings towards you but they do want commitment at some point okay so just keep an open mind your soul might be different from your usual type of expectations. So I feel like you are not their usual type or you are someone completely different. So it's almost like you've shaken them up in a good way, okay? So let's see what the Crystal Weird Oracle says about this connection, what their current feelings towards you. Okay, we have Ancestors and Fun, okay? And underneath we have Soul Journey. So you two are definitely on a soul journey together. You can have quite an intimate, intense relationship. And I feel like this person has been working so hard 
it's like they need to have more fun because they've been working so deeply on these patterns or they've just been in a really dark place um, trying to work through these patterns that basically has gone through the ancestral line. So I definitely feel like they need to come in towards you and have some more fun. But I definitely feel like this will come a bit, a little bit later once they've worked through a lot of their stuff. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, I also do crystal recommendations. Uh, personal crystal recommendations. So you can have your own crystal recommendation just to help you in life. So that will help you too if you want that. So if you would like to get a private re reading with me, all the information is down below. Comment down below if this resonated. If it didn't, just let it fly. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the button is right down there to click it. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Hi, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what your person's current feelings are towards you, okay? So let's put this, oh, let's put this here. Yeah, okay. So let's start off with the romance angels. We have true love. We have soulmate. Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, from the tarot, we have the knight of swords, two of wands, queen of swords, four of swords. And then from the animal spirit deck, we have be peace, take a leap of faith, life is a mystery, and let it shine. So this person is going through a time where they're trying to be the most authentic person. Like, I feel like they have a lot of authenticity. But I feel like from a recent relationship, they've almost hidden this authenticity. And you've come along with this true love and soulmate. You are like their soulmate. And they're like contemplating now. <clears throat> Excuse me, if this is the right thing to do. So what I love is we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So it's like he's almost coming towards this queen. But she's kind of like sitting and waiting. So it's almost like, yeah, I know we're soulmates. And he's like, well... I only just figured it out. <laughs> so he's like kind of looking out and trying to figure out what's the best option because he has two options here and I feel like this could be a long distance relationship or it could just be someone from quite a far distance because we have the world here as well. So I definitely feel like you could have turned the world upside down which is really really lovely and I feel like they feel really peaceful when they're around you so that I feel like they are they are very interested in you. I feel like these are all kind of like the, the thoughts they're telling me. These are all like the thoughts that they're thinking about you. And I feel like you keep them up at night or they think of you even like, this sounds really intense, but they think of you when they're like with other women or other men, depending on who your partner's interested in or that your person's interested in basically. So we have life is a mystery. So it's almost like they're very, I feel like this is going to be a completely different relationship than what they're used to. So I really can't base this on anything from the past. So it's definitely going to be a mystery for them. But I feel like they want to take the leap of faith. They want to. And they and once they do, this they're going to be the whole, wholly and completely themselves because they're going to be they're going to let themselves shine. They're going to let their heart shine for you. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I feel like once they come towards you with this offer, it's going to be like this gorgeous heart opening energy. Okay. So we have be peace and I feel like it's quite similar to this card here. So it's almost like they are trying to create peace in their life before they come towards you because they feel like they could have a little bit of baggage or something that's unresolved. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like this is a really good energy that they're going to try and embody. Or they feel just very peaceful when they're around you as well, okay? So there's not much really else to say. I just feel like this person knows that, like, they... they think that you're their soulmate like they know that they they think of you as their soulmate and they think of you as true love so they want to be with you and I love how both these cards have very similar actions like the way they're both holding each other is very similar so I definitely feel like you you definitely feel the same and you want to be with them and I feel like the time is going to turn when you're really going to find you're really going to find your, the right person and this is the right person like this the time is going to turn and this is gonna this is gonna move okay so for some reason i'm really yeah i'm really kind of looking in this stained glass window i don't know if you guys can see that but i feel like this is like the five of cups energy where this person is kind of offering something to this this person here like almost on their knees so it's almost like you're the queen it's almost like the dreams that person's been having, like you're the higher up, the person who's higher up and he's like, he or she is like on their knees and they're like, 
um, giving you an offer because they really, really want to be with you and they want to they wanna give themselves to you. They want to be that sort of person who takes care of you, who looks after you, that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got one more card here. We have protection. You and your loved ones, you, your loved ones and your possessions are safe, protected by heaven. So this person I feel wants to cuddle you, wants to coddle you as well. I'm getting the word coddle. I'm not sure if that's a word, but they, I feel like they have those emotions for you. They want to be with you. They want to hold you. And I feel like they could be the sort of person that is very, um, that does love a good hug. They always want to take care of you like a child, okay? So we also have spirit guides and inspiration underneath. We have prosperity. So everything will turn out really, really well. I'm seeing spirit guides are here to um, inspire this person to come towards you. And they're around this person, almost nudging them, going like, go on, go on, go on. This is the person for you, like, go on. Okay, so let's see if there's any other energies that um, is going to happen in the next coming couple of weeks. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands, love that. Oh my god, the Four of Wands. It's almost like this Swords energy has turned into the Wands energy. And then we also got underneath the five of swords. So this is a thing that he's, that he or she is leaving behind. And now they want, once they've got rid of a lot of these burdens and a lot of this baggage, as I say, they do have baggage, they're gonna drop it and they're gonna almost take the, give two ones to you and two for themselves. And they're just gonna, you're gonna come into harmony and it's gonna be a much more grounded connection, okay? You could be connecting with, I'm not really seeing fire sign possibly actually. I'm, I'm seeing more air, earth and water, but if it is a fire sign, obviously it doesn't matter because we do have the bobcat spirit and the bobcat spirit does kind of remind me of um, a fire sign or an earth sign. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Or as I say, don't always get hung up on the zodiac signs, but that's just extra information for you guys. So thank you for watching. If you would like to get a personal reading with me and you can also get a, a crystal a personal two crystal recommendations for you which i offer on my general readings then please look down in the description below and please contact me through email or instagram also if you would like to subscribe the button is right down there and also please give this video a big thumbs up uh comment down below if it resonated and if it didn't resonate just let it fly so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon bye guys Hi group number three, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we had this gorgeous amethyst, I love this, it's so pretty. I love how raw it looks as well. Love that. Okay, so thank you, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what you got for what the current feelings uh, your person feels towards you. So we have make the effort, you deserve love, it is safe for you to love and stay optimistic about your love life. Let's put that one down there. And then from the tarot, we have the Five of Cups, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Page of Wands. And then from the Animal Spirit deck, we have Learn from the Past, Time to Heal, and Tend to the Small Things. So, okay. So I'm kind of getting a bit of a weird energy from this. I don't know if this person is ready for anything right now. I feel like it's almost like with you deserve love and it's safe for you to love and stay up with your little love life. I feel like this person isn't the right person for you. And the, the universe is almost like saying there's, there's newer things coming, there's better things coming. But that doesn't mean this person isn't the right person. That's just like an option. That's only for some of you, okay? But for others of you, um, this person wants to make the effort, but I feel like you're looking away from them. So I don't feel like you will know when this person is going to come towards you. But I feel like they're, they're definitely their current feelings is just confusion. They're kind of holding everything to themselves and they're kind of staying in their power. And But it's not like a loving power. It's like It's like a sort of controlling power. So I feel like they are kind of looking in the past when actually they need to learn from it instead of actually staying in the past. So they could be just kind of staying in the past, which is why they could be taking quite a long time to get to you. But, but they are healing and they're shedding their skin, wanting to get into a new skin, but I think they are actually, they are actually just looking after themselves at the moment. So right now, I don't see them coming towards you, 
but once this completion is over there could be a new start i'm not sure if it's actually with you guys so i'm sorry to say this is quite negative but i don't feel like this person like from the from the feelings that i'm getting it doesn't feel like they're actually going to come towards you because it's almost like they needed to go through quite a bit before they could actually see clearly so i feel like it's definitely up to them whether they want to come back if you feel like they do like initially from your own intuition if you feel like this person does like you and is interested in you then i feel like this is this could be you them coming towards you okay because it's going to be a completion so from the fairy oracle we have soulmate relationship set your sights high and alchemy so the fact we've got soulmate relationship this is what i'm saying it's like a really confusing energy because i feel like for some of you this person could easily walk away but they are your soulmate that's why i'm really confused so it says increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle uh you have the minus touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so it's almost like they need to realize how good you are like how amazing you are how much how much potential you two have together but they're not really seeing it right now because they're looking at other pictures like they're looking at different things they're not really looking into this relationship i think it's all about timing so i feel like the timing that i'm looking into right now is before they come towards you so i'm not sure what could actually happen so let's have a look let's have a look what what else could happen with uh, group number three please what could happen with this uh, what's the potential with this connection please thank you what's the potential with this outcome thank you the lovers oh gorgeous okay we've got the ten of swords i love that five of pentacles and the two of pentacles can we have one more please what's the overall energy thank you overall future energy temperance okay so this person is definitely having trouble balancing out their emotions they really don't know what they want they're like okay is money more important is relationship more important is money more important than relationship so i feel like it's a job could actually be in between you two and i feel like it just need to balance it out i generally feel like they need to realize that this is a summit relationship because without this realization i don't see them coming towards you but they, there is a definite realization because we've got the ten of swords it's like an ending and it's almost like they see you as potential but it's like are they going to choose you but we have the lovers here as well so there's, there's just options like this is an option these are options like it's just like weighing the situation out okay so i can see them coming towards you but there is there is a possibility yes that they will come towards you but it's almost like is this the right connection because not all soulmate relationships are meant to be together so it's all very confusing i feel like there needs to be more time before they, this person can actually make a move towards you okay i think that's why i'm getting so confused because this person is like more focused on their money than they are on anything else right now but they need to have about once they have a balance between emotions and finance i definitely feel like they could come towards you okay they need to learn from the past and they need to learn from their past relationship okay so that's their current feelings towards you guys hope that wasn't too confusing i'm very confused with this i'm just yeah <laughs> it's very confusing okay group three before i move on to group number four um the song mama do by pixie lot came up just to let you know um i do feel like there could be some sort of like parents that are involved in this relationship and it's stopping you two from being together um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below i do personal uh, crystal recommendations as well for you guys if you would like that that's my general reading that's the hour reading i'm thinking of doing just a separate crystal recommendation that you can purchase if you guys would like that let me know in the comment section below also if you'd like to subscribe the red button is down below uh give this video a thumbs up uh if you like this video feel free to comment down below if it resonated and if it didn't resonate then let it fly hello group number four thank you so much for watching let's see what your current feelings are from your person okay so we got the for the romance angels we have let go of control issues we then have swan spirit time for a deep dive giraffe spirit see the big picture crow spirit co-create with spirit we then have the fox spirit think on your feet stag spirit take the lead starfish spirit open open to infinite possibilities okay that's really nice so let's see what's in the tarot for you guys so we have the nine of pentacles knight of wands six of cups page of pentacles and the nine of wands okay let's have a look 
Okay, so there is a possibility that this person wants to be with you, but they need to take the lead towards you. They're almost thinking in a different direction right now. They're thinking more logically than emotionally because they need to take a deep dive into their emotions, but I feel like they're almost avoiding it, okay? So the spirit spirit is trying to get you two to come together. Um, they could also be asking for spirit's guidance if that's the sort of thing that they are into. I definitely feel like this person is pretty happy. I feel like it's... I don't know if they're pretty happy being single, but they have been single for a long time. And there is like a reunion that needs to come forward because I feel like there's a reconciliation. Or this person could be like a childhood a childhood friend or there could be children involved okay so with the page of pentacles and the nine of wands it's like there's an offering here but it's like will they take it they're just really confused right now i feel like they have a lot of control issues that they still haven't let go of yet but the possibilities are infinite so there's something that will change just possibly not yet i think they need to have a, have a longer think about what they really want to do but there is a possibility, I'd say, for, for them to come towards you. This could also be you, actually. They see you as someone very independent and single. And they want to come towards you. It's almost like they've moved out of the past and they're, they're going into the future, which is really nice. So that basically means that you two are going to come together as a possibility. Obviously, it's just a possibility. This isn't, like, guaranteed. But, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that here. So we see the big picture. This person, as I said, needs to have a really good think about what they want. There's some sort of, there's options for them to choose, but it's almost like, will they choose it, okay? So we also have contemplation time and mother healing. Yeah, definitely. It says, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Contemplation time, spend time and I'm meditating upon what you truly desire. So I definitely feel like this person has mama issues. Or, well, not all. They do have mama issues. They have had a really rough time with their mum when they were a child or growing up and there's control issues around relationships and how things should be controlled so i feel like this person is debating whether they want to come forward so they're having a con they're con contemplating on what they want to do okay so thank you so much for watching if this resonated with you then comment down below also if you'd like to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below the red button's down there also i do private readings all the information is in the description below and also if this resonated with you don't forget to comment down below and if it didn't resonate then let it fly so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys